All right, we are on unit three, day four. So let's remind ourselves what was day three. Day three was graphing. So now look for your notes that say day four. It's really important you are filling out the notes we gave you so then you have the graphs and it's much easier. So slope intercept form is y equals mx plus b. So before we graph, we're going to have to solve, meaning getting y by itself. So let's move this right along and let's try the first two. So getting y by itself. So we are moving everything away from the y. So if I have a negative two, how do I move it to the other side? By adding two. And it's negative 2 plus 2, so it actually goes away. So I drop everything else down. So I have 4x equals 2y. Then I divide 2 to both sides because that is the inverse. And I have y equals 2x. It's kind of funky because the y is on the right side. So I flip it and make it y equals 2x. So when you're doing the notes, I need to see this work. Okay, your teachers appreciate showing the work so you are following the steps and you are learning from it. If I just write this down, I don't know how I got that. Okay, so please write it down for us. Now my y, my m is my slope. My b is my y-intercept. That is my, I call this my starting point. Where does it start on the graph? So for example, if you started with a certain amount of money and then you made a certain amount every hour, how much did you start with? So for this one, I don't have a number here. So I start at the zero. And then my slope is up two and over one. There is an invisible one on the bottom. So up two, starting here, up two and to the right one, up two and to the right one, because it is a positive slope, okay? So you should see it going uphill from left to right. All right, number two, let's try this one. There is no y value, so I need to solve for x and see what we get. So I'm going to add 5 to both sides because that is my constant. And I get 3x equals 9. Opposite of multiplying is dividing. And I get x equals 3. Okay. So I'm going to go over to x equaling 3. This is where x equals 3. Hmm. So I don't have a y. I don't have a b. This is called a zero slope. Or sorry, not a zero. Not a zero slope. Ah! This is an undefined slope. Undefined, like slope dude says. Okay? It's a vertical slope. Okay? That means that there is no y value. You don't have a zero slope. You have an undefined slope at the three because it's x equals three. Okay. All right. Woo. So let's try number three. Again, getting y by itself. So I'm going to subtract three to both sides. I'm going to put it with the four. Okay. Because they're both constants. And then I have y equals one half x plus one. Now, how do I graph that? Let's write this again. Y equals MX plus B. You will be using this a long time. So my Y intercept is one. Y intercept starting at the Y at the one. Okay. So that's my starting point. And now let's uh, look at our slope. It's one half. Okay. So one half, I'm going to go rise one and run to the right two. Rise one and run to the right two. What's the opposite of going up and right? Down and left. If you notice, it's the same line. Okay? But from left to right, we are going uphill because it's a positive slope. All right, try A for me and check back. All right, so I had to get that y by itself, so I moved the 5, and I got y equals negative 2 minus x. So if you notice, that's not really in the same order as slope-intercept form. So what I did is I switched these, so this is my equation. Now I know how to graph it. My starting point is at negative 2 on the y-axis. Now a negative 1 slope. Okay, that means negative 1 over 1. So I'm going to go up 1. It is negative. So I'm going to go left 1. Up 1, left 1. Okay, and there is my graph. Fantastic. Okay, so now we're going to look at 
Word problems. A linear function passes through these points. A second function is represented by this equation. What is the y-intercept of the function with the greater rate of change? So there's a lot to do in this problem. So let's first find the slope for this one, okay? So I have 10, 5, and negative 15, negative 5, okay? So I need to first find the slope of this, x1, y1, x2, y2. So I have negative 5 minus 5 over negative 15 minus 10. Woo! So this is negative 10 over negative 25. So I'm just doing the first function. So then I can reduce this. Two negatives make a positive. And I'm going to take out a 5. So I have 2 fifths. 2 fifths is the slope to my first function. Okay, I don't have the y-intercept yet, but I know that that is two-fifths. All right. From there, I need to figure out what the y-intercept is. So let's see what we know. Again, I'm just working on the first function. So I have y equals two-fifths x plus b. Okay, so I need to plug in one of those points. I think I'm going to plug in 10, 5. So let's think about 10, 5. 10 is my x, 5 is my y. So let's plug it into the equation. Okay, so 5 is my y, 10 is my x, and I'm going to solve it. Okay, so I'm going to, so 2 fifths times 10 over 1. So I can reduce that by taking out a 5, and 2 times 2 is 4. So I have 5 equals 4 plus b. What is the opposite of a positive 4? A negative 4. So I have 1 equals b. So after all that, I have y equals 2 fifths x plus 1. That is my function to my first one. I found the slope. I plugged it in with one of the points. And I found B. Woo! Now my second equation. Okay, so hopefully you wrote all that down. All right, so that's the first bit, that's the first function. The second function is 4x minus 3y equals 6. So then we want to solve that. So we want to get y by itself. So first we want to subtract negative 4 to both sides. Okay, so now that I subtracted 4x to both sides, now I want to divide by 3. Okay, so now I have my two functions. My first function is y equals 2 fifths x plus 1. My second function is y equals negative 4 thirds x plus 2. So we need to figure out which of the y-intercepts has the, what is the y-intercept of the function with the greater rate of change? So we have to look to see which one has the greater rate of change. All right, so I have to divide by a negative 3. Sorry about that. So then that's a negative 2. So which one is steeper, the 2 fifths or the negative 4 thirds? So negative 4 thirds is steeper, okay? It's going to be a steeper slope. So what is the y-intercept of that equation? Your answer is A. So that was a pretty in pretty detailed pretty detailed question. Now let's look at five. Slope of two contains point three. So we need to plug in three one into the equation. Okay, so I have 1 equals negative 2 times 1 plus b, and let's solve for b. So 
So B equals negative 1. So I have Y equals 2X minus 1 is my equation. And it's asking which of the following points is on the same line. Well, let's graph it and see what's up. So start at the 1. I rise 2 and run to the right 1. Rise 2 and run to the right 1. Okay. And let's see which one of these points is on this line. Okay. So negative 3, negative 5. Negative 3, 1, 2, 3, negative 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Ooh, might be 0, negative 5. Nope. Negative 5. Negative 5, 0. Nope, that's not on there. Negative 3, 2. 1, 2, 3, down 1, 2. Nope. So A is your answer. So figuring out what your equation is by figuring out the slope, plugging in a point, and finding the y-intercept, graphing it, and then finding that point. Okay, so for your homework, make sure to get y by itself when you graph it and ask questions with your teacher.